On this channel, I like to talk about real issues. So I don't come to disgust or offend anyone. So I want to talk about something that may offend you. Perhaps. I don't know. You have to understand that your desire to masturbate and have sex is not going to go away when you start to live for God. You have to understand this. And the more that you give into it, the more difficult it is going to be for you to stop. I really hope that makes sense. For myself, I haven't masturbated in about three or more years. I haven't had sex in about around five to six years. And I have noticed the closer that I get with God, the stronger my temptations is to do those things. The stronger my temptation, I don't know how to say it. The more that I get tempted with those things when I don't have any interest in it. Does that make any sense? I don't want to masturbate. I don't want to have sex. But yet, the closer that I get with God, the more tempted I am, or the more that demons tempt me with those things. I really hope that makes sense. And let me say this, I am tempted much more severely than ever, ever. So back in the past, when I was trying to live for God, yes, I was tempted, but the temptation level that I am at right now is a lot higher than before. So what does that tell you? If this is happening to me, a person that has not masturbated or has sex in years. Imagine what is going to happen to you. So what I am trying to say, you have to get to the point where you conquer your temptations. You have to get to the point where you say to yourself, hey, I am not going to do it anymore. I don't care how many times I am tempted. I don't care how many times demons try to place those things in my mind. I am not going to do it. You have to get to that point. There is no easy route. Believe me, if there was, <laughs> I would have found it. But there is no easy route. The only way that you can conquer your temptations is to stop. I'm serious, man. Let me say this. I pretty much have sexual dreams almost every night. Every single night, just about. Crazy demonic dreams. And I thank God that God does not allow me to remember everything that happens in my dreams which is a very good thing because I really have some really weird dreams, very demonic, like dreams that does not make any sense. I really hope you understand this. It gets to the point where my supernatural dreams and this realm that we live in now, sometimes it takes me a while after waking up to figure out that it was a dream. I'm serious. Like those supernatural experiences feel so real. So if you are not going through what I am going through, know this, the closer you get to God, the more that you are going to be tempted. So don't think to yourself, hey, eventually things are going to get easier for you. It is not. The more you give in to your temptation, 
the worse it is going to be for you because you are never going to quit. So stop now. Don't say, well, let me masturbate or have sex for a week, then after that week, I am going to go straight. You are not. Stop now. <laughs> I'm serious. Because even after years of not doing anything sexual, not even kissing, I am not going to kiss. I am not. Not doing anything sexual, not kissing, but yet my temptations are greater than before. So this tells you to stop now. So this should really encourage you because I know that the devil is telling you, hey, you know, just this one more time or just this time here or you are going to stop soon. You are not. Stop now. So really take heed to this. And this pretty much goes with other temptations and things that you are doing wrong. If you drink, if you smoke, if you curse people out, anything that you do wrong, you need to stop it now. Don't prolong it. Don't be deceived by Satan. Really. Okay. God bless.